Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2019. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Welcome to September Monthly Challenge and this month we will be tackling sheet metal. Let's inspect the challenge. So I prefer to create a sketch to define this hole. Let's head to Fusion 360. And I'm going to hit R to enter sketch mode together with our rectangle tool. So let's sketch on our XZ plane. Let's change the rectangle to center rectangle. Let's drop our center point at the origin. With the dimension field highlighted, I'm going to key in 50, hitting tab and key in 100, hitting enter. Let's grab our circle, so hitting C, let's zoom in. I'm going to drop my center point at the intersection of this vertical line, so left click here, key in 5, create another circle, hitting C. Dropping our center point at the center point of this circle. Keying in 9. Hit D to grab our dimension tool. Select this center point. Move to our origin. Left click here. Moving to the left. Let's drop our dimension here. Left click. On the drawing it says 25. I'm going to key in 25 divided by 2 and hit enter. Looking nice. Let's exit sketch mode by selecting finish sketch. Going to home view. Let's enter sketch mode once more. And this time, let's sketch on our YZ plane to create this profile. Hitting L for line and selecting our YZ plane. Let's create a horizontal line here and key in 60. Next, grab our vertical constraint. I want to align the midpoint of this line together with our origin vertically. So selecting our origin, holding shift and locating the midpoint of this horizontal line. Left click. Hit D for dimension. Let's define the distance here. So it's 30. Hitting enter. Hit L for line. Create a line from this endpoint. Moving down. Left click here and double left click. Next, I want to align this endpoint together with our origin horizontally. So selecting this point and our origin, right click and select horizontal vertical. Let's orbit and my next intent is to align this endpoint together with this center point. But first, we need to project. So hitting P for project, selecting this center point, selecting OK, grabbing our coincident constraint, selecting this endpoint and this projected point. Left click here. Let's head back to our previous view by selecting look at. Hit D for dimension, selecting this point and our origin. Place our dimension here, left click and key in 42. Move back to our previous view by selecting look at, hitting escape. And inspecting, trying to move our sketch geometries. Now I prefer to have the section mirrored to the right. 
So I'm going to break this line, but first I'm going to create a line hitting L from our origin, moving to this midpoint, hitting escape, selecting this vertical line, hitting X to make this as a construction line, hit S to grab our sketch shortcuts, typing BR, selecting break, moving over to our midpoint, left click here, hitting escape, selecting this line segment, and hitting X, making this as a construction line. Once more, let's inspect and try to move our sketch geometries. Based on that movement, I'm going to grab our symmetry constraint. So selecting this point, holding control, selecting this point, and finally our symmetry line. Once more. And finally our symmetry line. Right click and select symmetry. Hitting escape, so selecting and trying to move our sketch geometries. So looking good. Let's now select finish sketch. Let's now head to our sheet metal tab, selecting sheet metal, selecting flange. Selecting this profile and move this blue arrow to the left. So leaving the defaults here. Do take note just in case the thickness of our sheet metal to be 2 millimeters. I'm going to key in negative 25 and finally hit OK. Let's create another flange. So selecting flange and select this section of our circle. So selecting this profile, selecting OK. Next, let's create a cut extrusion. So let's turn on the visibility of our sketch one. So hitting E for extrude, selecting this profile, pull this arrow up, head to extents, selecting two object, and select this face. So once more, operation to be cut and hit OK. Let's turn off the visibility of sketch one. And from here, let's grab our mirror tool. So hitting S for design shortcuts, typing MI, selecting mirror, the pattern type to be bodies, creating a window selection. So just to make sure, the shortcut for that is hitting one on my keyboard. So creating a window selection, activating mirror plane, Selecting our XY plane, selecting OK, repeat mirror tool so I can right click, head up and select repeat mirror. The pattern type once more to be bodies, creating a window selection, activating mirror plane, selecting our YZ plane and hit OK. From here, let's grab our combine tool, hitting S for design shortcuts, typing CO, selecting combine. Let's select a target body. I prefer this one. And for the tool bodies, let's expand our folder, selecting body 2 all the way to body 8, holding shift and left click. Operation join leaving the default and hit OK. We now have one sheet metal body. Moving forward, let's unbend our sheet metal body. So heading up to modify, selecting unfold. For the stationary entity, let's select the stop face, left click here, and enable unfold all bends.
Selecting OK. And let's enter sketch mode by hitting R to grab our rectangle. Let's select this face. I'm going to create a rectangle here. Value to be 10. Hitting enter. And I want to align the midpoint of this vertical line together with our origin. So let's grab our horizontal constraint, selecting this origin, holding shift, selecting our midpoint. Next, let's hit D for dimension, selecting this vertical line, and this vertical line, key in, 10. Same here, selecting this vertical edge, selecting this vertical line, key in, 10. And instead of creating another rectangle on this side, I'm going to create a line that will serve as our mirror line. Hitting escape. Let's make this as a construction line. Hitting X. Hit S for our shortcuts. Typing MI. Selecting mirror. Let's create a window selection to select this rectangle. Release. Activating mirror line. Selecting this vertical construction line. And hit OK. Next, I'm going to select E for Extrude, selecting this Profiles. Let's pull this arrow down. Head to Extent, selecting two object. And I want my cut extrusion to be up to this face. So left click here, selecting OK. Let's head to Home View and select Refold Faces. Looking nice. And from here, we can now add fillets to our sharp corners. So hitting F for Fillet. Selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. And finally, hitting OK. So congratulations for completing the September Fusion 360 monthly challenge. This video is sponsored by MSI Workstations. Fusion 360 works smoothly with MSI Workstation. Join us in Facebook. See you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.